One CNC provides a very powerful suite of tools for lathe manufacture. Now in this video, what we're going to focus on is two-axis lathe machining. Now for a lathe project, all you need is just half of the geometry. Now you can quickly create this cross-section using the provided CAD tools, or if you'd like, you can import wireframe geometry, solid models, or surfaces to create the shapes as well. So for example, if I head up here, and if we were to import a step file, which is going to be a solid model, let's bring that in, just click OK to that. I'll click finish. So there's the step file, and that's just a simple solid model. But notice how fast it is if I come over here to our model tools and use this extract lathe profile. As soon as I do that, one CNC quickly creates that wireframe geometry for us that we can apply toolpath to. So it's very, very fast and effective. Now, once you have your geometry on the screen, now it's time to go in here and start applying toolpath. Now, to do that, simply take your cursor to the left hand side of the screen. Grab your lathe tool paths, and these are all the powerful manufacturing machining operations that are available. For example, there's roughing, finishing, facing, bore roughing, bore finishing, groove roughing, groove finishing, drill and tap, parting, thread external, thread internal, and various other manufacturing operations. And also for your grooving, don't forget you can also perform face grooving as well. Very, very nice. Now once you have your toolpaths applied to your geometry, those toolpaths or machining operations get stored over here within the NC Manager. Now the NC Manager is very, very powerful. There's lots of things you can do here. You can verify your toolpath, edit the toolpath, rearrange the toolpath, preview, simulate, and create your CNC code. Now for example, let's say we just want to verify some of these machining operations. Just simply take your cursor and left hand mouse click and as soon as you do that, one CNC will show the machining operation. There's some face grooving, there's some standard rough grooving there as well. Alright, if you want to edit an operation, it's just as easy. Just right hand mouse click, select edit operation, make your changes, push through these menus and click finish and you're done. It's as easy as that. Very, very nice. Now let's say you want to reorder your machining operations. To do that, just take your cursor, highlight the machining operation you want to move, and simply drag it with your left hand mouse button. You can see how easy that is. So we can rearrange these machining operations any way we'd like. Now at this point, we might want to preview our toolpath. Now here we have just some simple wireframe geometry. Why don't we quickly create this into a 3D representation of the part. To do that, we're going to head over to Model Tools and we're going to use this option called Create Lathe Model. What you do is simply select the geometry and then one CNC will create the shape for us. Once you have that shape, if you want to, you can change the color just by coming down here to the color palette and selecting whatever color you'd like there. Very, very fast and easy. We could take this into preview now, but why don't we take it a step further. Earlier I created some tooling. I created a chuck and some jaws there. That looks nice. So let's take this into preview. Going to right hand mouse click, going to select preview toolpaths, and there we go. Now of course this can be zoomed out or zoom in if you'd like. You can pan, rotate. The simulation can be slowed down or sped up. You can also step through the simulation if you'd like. It's a very nice way to see exactly what's happening out there on the machine tool. Now if you'd like to see the material being removed, we can do that by using simulate. Here's how Simulate works. Simply right hand mouse click. Instead of Preview, select Simulate. And from Simulate, why don't we start off with 2D Simulation. We'll click OK to that. I've told one CNC to show the geometry. And of course, again, this can be sped up or slowed down. And this is another great way to see exactly what's happening out there on the machine. Alright, so there's your 2D Simulation. Let's take a look now in 3D. So again, we're going to right hand mouse click. We're going to grab Simulate again, but this time we're going to grab this option called Stock Model. We'll click OK to that. And notice now we have the stock, the chuck, and the jaws. This is a great way to check for clearances, as well as know exactly what the toolpath is doing out there on the machine tool. Another really neat thing is that when you're previewing and simulating, you don't have to preview and simulate everything. So for example, let's say that we just want to preview this roughing operation right here. Just right hand mouse click and select preview toolpath and it will show us just that operation. That same type of flexibility pushes through to simulate as well. If we want to, let's say we just want to see the facing for example for simulate. Right hand mouse click, select simulate. I'm going to use the stock model again, click OK. And one CNC is just going to show us the simulation for the facing. Very, very effective. You can also do this if you'd like. 
you can turn these on and off. Notice how there's on switches over here to the right. If I were to come in here and turn some of these off, and now if I were to select preview or simulate, one CNC is only going to preview or simulate those machining operations that were turned on. It's very, very powerful. This also applies to creating your CNC code. So why don't we wrap this up by creating some CNC code. We're going to right hand mouse click. We're going to select post group. One CNC ships with many different post processors. I'm going to grab just a Fanuc OT there. I'll select post. We'll click save. And there's our CNC program. Now the one CNC text editor is very powerful. Of course it has all the standard tools you'd expect in any editor, but there's also additional tools like calculators, and you can also upload and download to your CNC using our RS-232 comms. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.